I had never been in the nonprofit world before, so this is new to me. Um, I moved to Kent County 40 years ago, and I brought my business from Philadelphia, which was a kitchen and bath design studio. Had it on High Street for about two years, and during that two years, I realized that this is not what I wanted to do anymore. The industry had changed because of COVID. There were long lead times. Um, I could not make my clients as happy as I wanted to. So after the two years, I said, what do I want to do with my life? And looking around at this wonderful community, I thought it was time for me to start giving back. The United Way is an organization that looks at people who do not have what others have. There are, and I just know this now, there's a, um, there is an acronym called ALICE that United Way uses, and it stands for Asset Limited, Income Constrained, Employed. So these are people who have jobs, but uh, cannot afford the basics. They can't afford, you know, housing, transportation, health. They often have to, you know, not pay one bill to pay another bill. Um, if the inflation, they can't keep up with inflation. They do not have emergency funds. So. The, and I looked at the data that um, United Way gave us, and it's by county, and it's done by year, and there are 36% of households here in Kent County that fall below the Alice threshold, which is unbelievable. And that com combined with the 9% that are in the poverty zone, that is 45% of people in Kent County that cannot that are in need and cannot, you know, they don't have the prosperity that many of us realize. And it's, and it's not equal for everybody. For example, 84% of sing, single female headed households are below the Alice threshold. That's a huge amount. And yes, and seniors, 51% of seniors are also below. So what United Way does is we look at those people and we say, who can really help and who can do the best job? What, is, what are the needs? And so what we do is we raise funds and then we grant money to other nonprofits that, will, you know, that are taking care of specific issues within the community. We're also trying to evolve because now not only do we want to just grant funds, but what we want to do is be kind of the hub of nonprofits, gather together all the nonprofits here in Kent County and be able to have them talk to each other to become more efficient um, and figure out where the gaps are and where the overlaps are and also to learn from each other. I think the nonprofits, they have tried, but they are so busy and they have so much that they need to do that United Way really should be a part of getting them together. They have tried in the past and other, you know, there have been times where they have gotten together and spoken, but because of the logistical nightmare, so to speak, that it's not been on a regular basis. And we would like to create the atmosphere and kind of build that group that can meet on a regular basis. And that's something that we're working on right now. I mean, we know the nonprofits that we work with, the ones that we grant money to. We had, this year we had 24 nonprofits that we granted um, $165,000 to. So we know what they do. Maybe not every program, but we know some programs. And that's part of the reason why we want to get other nonprofits, all nonprofits, for us to learn too. Because when I have somebody call me up and say, I just lost my housing, who do I go to? And I send them to social services, but there might be other avenues that I can help them with that I don't know about. We all need to learn more. Very surprising. This is such a gorgeous area Kent County is. And I think we forget that behind this beauty are some people who really are in need and we need to help them. And, and some I feel that I, being blessed, need and almost have a duty to help them. And the United Way is really a great way to do that because we give to a number of nonprofits, helping in a number of ways. That's not just for education. We focus on not just education, but health and financial stability. So you cover a, you know, a lot of ground for every dollar you give to the United Way. Right now it's monetary help because that's what helps us gather together all the nonprofits and to, you know, for meeting. It's the way we can grant um, dollars to nonprofits to help with their programming. Um, 
but we can, what we do is it's not just you know giving money we are also putting on events to you know that will be fun for the community as well and they can learn a little bit more about the united way if they want to we actually have one coming up called that's the spirit on Friday the 13th in September, surprise, surprise, and it's going to be held at the Kitty Knight House, which is supposed to be haunted by Kitty Knight. Um, we are going to have a three-course dinner, um, and with two of the, the first two courses paired with Crow uh, Vineyard's wines, uh, celebrities chef Robbie Jester will be preparing the meals or directing the preparing of the meals and after the meal we're going to have a psychic medium Andrea come and she will be able to get messages from dearly departed and give them to people in the audience because one of the things we're doing at the United Way you know we, is that we need to evolve, not just, and United Way worldwide is doing this. We are, it's very important that we still, you know, give grants to non worthy nonprofits, and that has been um, instrumental in growing some nonprofits in terms of, like, for example, in 2022, there was a new, a, a relic, she had been around for about a year, this nonprofit. And usually we don't take applications for grants until they're two years old. But because this was open doors in education and they helped kids um, reading and having troubles reading, we said, okay, let's meet with you. After the meeting, we realized how fiscally sound the organization was and we gave her the grant. She has this, um, the executive director has um, since then has told us numerous times how that spurred her growth. They, at the, when we met her in 2022, there were only 12 kids in her program. Now there are like around 50, an extra tutor. She said the United Way kind of gave them the uh, stamp of approval. So other agencies such as government grants, uh, individuals, corporate grants were more willing to give her money. So that way, and we still support her to this day. Um, the other thing is besides gathering together all nonprofits, and during COVID, we realized because of our um, getting out there and talking to other nonprofits, there was a problem with food scarcity in Kent County. So what we did was get together um, all the uh, food pantries because they weren't talking to each other as much as they could. So we started what we call the Food Council of Kent County. Um, and in 2023, we, were a, we wrote a grant, United Way, to give six food pantries in Kent County money to feed those in need. Um, the Food Council is still meeting to this day on a monthly basis, and they, you know, they share tactics, they share ways to save money, um, obstacles that one is having, and they're, you know, it's, it's a great organization. And we are still the method how they get money through grants, because they can't do it themselves, so United Way takes on that responsibility. Fantastic. Yeah, and the United Way, we are trying to not just be a grantor, but also look at other opportunities in the community where we can help nonprofits. We don't want to be a direct provider. We want to be someone who could take and help nonprofits. Like if there's something that everybody kind of has, you know, an issue with or something this could help, but they don't have the resources, of, you know, in terms of time or money, then maybe the United Way can take it on. So those opportunities are what we're looking for now in order to kind of evolve into our, you know, our next vision.